Hello? I'd like to order french fries, a burger, and a milkshake. This is a library. Here we are, folks, number two in the series, What's the Winning Move? It's a game from Bobby Fischer versus William Hook from 1970. So I'll give you a little bit of time here to solve the puzzle, and the answer will come shortly. Good luck. Okay, if you haven't solved the puzzle yet, please press pause because now is the answer. 14 U.S. Chess Championships here in St. Louis. How many of you found the answer to that puzzle? We've got Maurice for all the details. Well, we know, Jen, that some of these puzzles are pretty dominating positions on the part of Bobby Fischer, and he had different ways to win. The, the cleanest, the crispy, creamiest way actually to win this position was bishop takes on c5 removing this knight as a defender so that he could do the follow-up move after rook takes on c5 or anything takes on d5 for that matter the sacrifice this is the move you really needed to see rook takes on e6 with check and now the rook is skewering the king and queen so you have to take with something but no matter what you capture back with pawn or king then queen to f6 would be checkmate and so his opponent, after bishop c5, uh, just was simply busted. Typical dominating performance from Bobby Fischer. Girls, I bought a lot of underwear for my man. And years ago, I picked Fruit of the Loom. Surprise, Emma! Hiya, kitty. I save every time I buy Fruit of the Loom briefs. Big value for your money. Right on, only a dollar thirty. The super band waistband, that's real quality. That a girl, Emma. For well, my men and my money, fruit makes the best picking. <laughs> Men's cotton briefs, only a dollar thirty. A great buy-in.